looking twin brother? Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Hmm, good to know, dear, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? Huh, I wish. No, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. Eesh. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Aww. Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Hello, Henry. 
having a nice afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. I didn't do anything to them. Except destroy their stuff. Just their stereo. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Henry? Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hey, babe, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? Sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Hey, so... Who's Jules? How do you know that name? I haven't said anything about Julia. Um... Wait, is there something going on that I don't know about? <laughs> what? No. Look, a couple of weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night, and y you were talking in your sleep, I guess. I only heard the name Julia, so I figured I'd ask. It's hard to talk about. You don't have to. It's hard because... Well, I, I fucked up. We all fucked up. But being out here can't be some sort of punishment for you. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's... she's there. Oh my god, Henry. And that's it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Henry, listen... I Oh, my God, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but... Her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. 
Thanks. I'll let you keep hiking. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's up? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. <sighs> talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. <sighs> we could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um, you know. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you.
You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>